purchased a high pressure chemical injector for my electric pressure washer. I'm going to hook it up and see how it works. Okay, now we're going to hook up our injector right here where the water hose usually goes. Now we'll go ahead and hook our water line on to the end of the injector. I pulled this back off it because as you could see it was leaking really bad. So what I did is I pulled the screen out, go ahead and put a wrench or a crescent wrench on this part, take the Allen wrench, put it in here and tighten it down. This one was not very tight. Everything's back together again. We'll turn the water on and try one more time. Okay, that took care of our leak. I'm gonna take my hose. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up my soap container. And I'm gonna put this down in here and use my soap that I have in there instead of putting it in a one gallon tank. turn the soap off and go to rinse. Now I turn this clockwise all the way in and I'll turn my solution off or my chemical will not come back in through here. Now I got it hooked up to a faucet and I want to show you this here adjusts the detergent. So if you turn it counterclockwise that'll give you more detergent the farther you open it up. Now if we turn it here, this here, turn it down, this one here, and that there is full pressure. Now as you turn it and it goes down it's starting to cut your pressure off. It's starting to restrict your pressure on your pressure washer. Down to where there's just not much at all. You can uh, tweak it and run it the way that best uh, is suited for you.